Today we are doing soup, and welcome to the Grill Sergeant. Woo-wee. From the Army's Quartermaster Center and School in Fort Lee, Virginia. Are you ready for this? Beautiful. Featuring music by the Taste Buds. It can't get more better. Now serving up the best meals, military style. Woo-hoo. Come on, give us some. The Grill Sergeants. Well, you know what time it is. Hello, Taste Buds. How are you doing? You doing good today? You're sounding good today. You know, we're doing soups today. All right. Soups. Simple, isn't it? Nothing spectacular, but again, something that you can do, something that you can share, and something always wonderful. Today we're going to be doing a cold soup, a cucumber soup. We're going to be doing uh, some enhancements to a very old classic and favorite, some tomato soup. And we're also going to be doing the anytime chicken soup. I don't care whether you're sick, it'll make you feel better. If you feel good, it'll make you feel wonderful. If you feel bad, it'll, eh. But we're going to be doing some chicken soup. All right, we're going to start off today doing some the cold soup, and we're going to toss that in the refrigerator. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm, I think I need a little help. I think I need a little help. So you know I'm going to have to call a friend up to help me today, and who have I called every time I needed help? I call on the ranger, Ranger Jones, and I know he's lurking around. There he comes. There he comes. All right, today I need you to help me do some cucumber soup. Is okay. that all right? Yeah. Cool as a cucumber soup. Yeah. I looked at you, and I thought about, how cool you always are. You know, you never you know, you know, never seem to get ruffled. Right. That amazes me. It, it happens. See what I'm saying? The, you, you see that? That's personality right there. It's just oozing all over the place. You see that taste buds? Oh, yeah. That's the range of personality. You see it just, just. Soup. Soup. Let's get to it. You grab the cucumber. What he's going to do with the cucumber, peel it, seed it, take all the seeds out. Cue it up, and then we're going to get to the food processor and add all these wonderful ingredients. While he's doing that, I want to show you the ingredients that are going to go in the soup. Right here, we have a wonderful heavy cream. We have some sugar just to sweeten it up. It is a cold soup. And we have some garlic, and we have a shallot. So, so as soon as he finishes doing that cucumber, we're going to go ahead and get it, give him the shallot. He's going to go ahead and, and mince that up real quick. And then once we place all of that, I'm going to add a little ooh, we, and wow. And then once we get that done, mix it up, put it in the bowl, get it in the refrigerator, and it'll be ready uh, whenever you want to. You all right there, Ranger Jones? I'm doing all right, uh, Grill Sergeant. He is as cool as the cucumber he is chopping. This is absolutely amazing. I don't see how he does it, how he absolutely, absolutely stays all wonderfully just calm and composed. I'm just not like that. You know, usually I thought I was going to be shy once. You there, know, There was that one time. There was the one time I thought I was, like, really going to be shy and... Then the doctor slapped me, and after that, it was, it was, it was, you know, it was, it was pretty much done after that. Yeah, it was pretty much done after that. All right. Once he gets all of this wonderful stuff cubed, I want to talk a little bit about what we're going to do with the tomato soup a little bit later on. I want to show you this. Right here, we have a little breading, some panko breadcrumbs, some Japanese breadcrumbs, a little Parmesan cheese, and a little butter, all mixed together. And we have this waiting. Because on these little cherry tomatoes we've taken, we kind of cut the top off and just taken everything out of it, made a nice little hollow cup. And we put some uh, Gouda cheese, smoked Gouda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the guys in the back, yeah, he's shaking his head for Gouda because it's, uh, it's always good when you use some Gouda. You see what I'm saying? And then we got some cheddar cheese. I took some Vidalia onions. You know, I was stationed down there in Georgia. The one thing the Army does is they send you all around the world. And I lived in Georgia for a small stint. And during that time, they loved some Vidalia onions from Vidalia, Georgia. And they are sweet. And I put those in because I love the sweetness with the tomato. And then we have a beautiful pesto. Now, we're going to cover all of that in the breading so you can't really tell what's in the tomato. But then we're going to set those in the tomato soup. Oh, my goodness. Is that going to be wonderful today? Are we almost ready, that Ranger Jones? Are we almost ready? I think so, girl. So you, you think how, so? How much more do you need? Let's do a couple of more pieces. All right. And while he is working on these few little pieces of uh, making these absolutely perfect, we're going to throw all of this together, have an absolutely wonderful time. When we return, I hear the enemy of hunger, and I need some cover while I move. Hit me up, Chase Buds. Ambush on the taste bud. Ambush on the taste bud. You eating the soup? Eating the soup? Ambush! Ambush! Oh yeah, that's swinging, 
baby. Oh, that's swinging. Welcome back to the grill, Sagas. Welcome back. Welcome back. When last we met, we were cubing up some beautiful cucumbers to go with the garlic, the little sugar, and the cream and everything. Oh, Got to watch Ranger Jones. He likes to sneak around. I'm going to have him go ahead and blend all of this beautiful stuff up, salt to taste, some I mean sugar to taste, garlic. And we already know what I believe about garlic. Garlic proves that they love you because if they can stand you after you eat it, then that's love. All right, you're going to put the, you know, you, you, you're always there for me, uh, Taste Bud. You're always there for me. Tomato soup is probably one of the most beloved soups. We're doing it today. But what we've done, I, I want you to, to make sure you get everything. This tomato soup in here, the recipe you can find at pentagonchannel.mil, M-I-L. So if you need it, but we already have it done. Oh, there he goes. Right now, you can find any of your, any of your favorite tomato soups. Now, mine is this homemade one we have right here. You can buy any brand that you like. The, the jewel of it is being able to share different thoughts in there. You might want to add different things. Some people add sour cream. Some people add cheddar cheese. A lot of people do a lot of different things. So we're not going to stay constrained to just one way of doing it. We have a great recipe. But if you want it, you got to go where? Pentagonchannel.mil. Now, I want to show you this beautiful soup we have here that's all ready together. I like my tomato soup. It has a lot of texture. What I'm going to do is just let this sit here and simmer, stay hot, and stay beautiful. But what we're going to do, if you follow me over here, I have a little beautiful cast iron skillet, and I've taken some cherry tomatoes. And with these cherry tomatoes, I cored them out. Well, not cored them out, but took all the seeds and all the, the insides out. Till I had just a little cup left. And then what I've done, again, is I've stuffed this one with some smoked gouda. I've stuffed this one with cheddar cheese, this one with pesto, and this one with just some Vidalia onions. They're very sweet. They're very wonderful. And what I'm going to do is this breading that we talked about earlier, I'm going to take this breading. Oh, yeah. Now, I, again, I'm using my hands because this has to go in the oven. So there's no need for me to have a glove right now because when this comes out, this will be served with the soup and the person getting it will be the person using it. Then I will take this beautiful little bitty skillet, place it inside the oven, and then allow it to brown on top. When it's a beautiful brown and the cheese and everything have, has melted inside the tomato, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. And that is what's going to go inside of the tomato soup. This is actually the surprise in the tomato soup surprise. Because when you put the brown, the, the breading on there, you know what I'm saying, you put the breading on there, you can't really see what I've put in there. Okay. You, you feel me? Are you, are you there? Are you on the, are you on the island with me? Right. We're there. You see it? Beautiful bowl of soup, steam, spoon, you there? Cheese, boom, just like that, right there. See what I'm saying? Ambush on the taste buds, ambush on the taste buds. You're eating the soup, eating the soup, ambush, ambush. You don't know what to do. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. I'm getting dramatic about soup. I know this, but it's just soup, but it's so much more than just soup. But exactly. let's look about the soup that you've been working on over here. Let's move over here for just a second. And then we're going to come back to the ambush on the taste buds with the soup. Make it wooga, wooga, wooga again. You got it. Do, do the wooga, wooga with the machine again. Yeah, yeah. See how that's spinning around there nice and smooth? Uh-huh. I don't know if you can see, but I see all the little cucumber specks. That's beautiful in there. Did you put some ooh wee and wow? It's all in there, Chris. You did? Yes. You beautiful? You right. sure? Wonderful? There it is. Okay, there it is. Like you say, it's money? It's fast money all day. That's money right there, not credit, money. All right, we're going to pour this down. Go ahead and put that in the bowl, and he's going to put that in the refrigerator. And when we come back, we are going to throw together an absolutely wonderful version of chicken soup that you are going to love. And remember, you got to do these soups. Let them attack your taste buds. Have a great time doing it. Share it with the kids, the family, the neighbor that you're mad at because they stole your newspaper. Whatever it is, invite somebody over, have some soup, and do some wonderful stuff. I need some marching music. Oh, yeah, that's how we walk, baby. Take me on there. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's 
Jesse. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, I tell you, taste buds, you do me right every time. You know that? You do me right every time. I tell you, my taste buds sound like that now, too. You're just jumping. All right, what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a very simple chicken soup. All right, it's basically no work in it. Let's go over some of the ingredients that we're going to have in it today. We're going to put some celery. We're going to put some carrots. We're going to put some frozen peas. It's nothing mysterious about it. It's an anytime soup. Noodles, whatever pasta you have. My mom used to make it with spaghetti. Or you can put whatever pasta you have that's cooked off, you want to put it in there. Hey, there's no incorrect pasta. Chicken meat already cooked off. Now, you can buy it in the can, or you can have chicken meat that you've already had cooked off. But whatever it is, it can all go in the pot. Now, if you're just doing it from scratch, scratch, I've done it where I've just put the whole chicken and cooked it all the way down and then added everything to it. So... What we're going to do is just we're going to put all of this together and then start letting it just work its magic together. First thing I'm going to do is put the chicken, the celery, and I'm going to come back and grab these carrots. And you'll notice we have this big, beautiful pot of stock of chicken stock here. I'm going to need a long spoon for this big pot. We're just going to add the chicken in here. Oh, yeah. What do you like with your soups? There's taste buds. Crackers. Okay, just that simple. That's it, right? Just, just, just crackers. That's it? Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Okay, I love it. Okay, if you like it, I love it. Okay, oh, there we go. And we have some carrots, a little celery. Now, it, anybody other than the, just, just soup and crackers? Just soup and crackers. That's... That's it? Some nice toasted bread, maybe? Okay, I'm feeling you. Okay. That's some honesty right there. That's honesty. Okay. Now, this is going to slow it down just a little bit. I love my peas, so I put a lot of peas in there. Then all there is to do is stir, turn it up, and let it sit. Okay, it's going to give, give me some nice, soft music so the chicken soup can cook real good. You know, I think my food just acts better when there's good music on. I don't even like to cook without music. I always like music. I would hope that you like to cook with your favorite music. Oh, see, that's beautiful right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, see, that's a lazy afternoon and some chicken soup. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I love my taste buds. They just make everything taste better. Now, steam and some soup means that the soup is hot. Make no bout of doubt it, you're getting some good soup. As soon as I lifted that lid, I knew right then and there I had something wonderful. Oh, see, that, that's beautiful there. Do, 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 do. All right. I want to show you these beautiful tomatoes. We have toasted right here. Oh, yeah. In the oven, all nice. And I'm being very careful because those those uh, cast iron skillets hold heat very, very, very well. You don't want to, you want to be careful that you don't scorch your hands or, or burn yourself. It's a very safety tip right there. Whenever you're handling something out of the oven, you want to make sure that you have a hot pad or, or, uh, or the, uh, the gloves that go with it. Also with this, you want to make sure as you stir, you don't have to, you know, act like you're using a jackhammer. Just gently stir it. All we're going to do right now, we're going to season this up a little bit. We got a little oo. Everybody say we got some wee, 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 wee. And we got some wow. Oh, yeah. That's it, baby. Well, I'm telling you right there, boy. That, that's some soup and crackers eating music right there.
Oh, we're going to wait a little while and let that get hot. And while you're watching me have a whole lot of fun, I'm just going to hum as you take yourself a break and come right on back. We'll plate all of this up, do some tasting, and just go invite somebody. Hurry up during the commercial. Tell them, come on back. Let's do some great things with soup. See you in a minute on the Grill Sergeants. Do, 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 do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, welcome back to the Grill Sergeants. Welcome back to the Grill Sergeants. Okay, we don't have much to do, and you know that it's winding down to that time when we have to road march out of here. But we have a few more minutes to be comfortable, to be wonderful. We have this beautiful soup here. All we're going to do, the last thing is add in the noodles. Oh, yeah. Adding in the pasta. That's it. Stirring it up. And the only thing left to do then is wait. That's about it, just to wait. It's a wonderful thing. Now what we're going to do, let's go back to this beautiful, beautiful tomato soup. This tomato soup is looking absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Mm, mm, mm. Good gracious alive, I'm telling you. See, it's just, oh my goodness. And we have these beautiful little tomatoes on the side. Oh, yeah. Beautiful tomato soup. Let me go hurry up and get this chili cold cucumber soup. Oh, my goodness. That. Needs no help being wonderful. Needs no help being wonderful. If you just like it cold, you want to take a soup that you can take with you, this is a beautiful soup to make that happen. Then, in conclusion, through the magic of television, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what, what, what right there? You hear what I'm saying? How did that soup do that? You <laughs> see what I'm saying? It jumped from the pot to the kettle. Oh, oh, you see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you see that? This right here, I'm going to tell you something. This will get you married, gentlemen. You cook like this, this will get you married. And if you're married, this will get you out the doghouse. It really will, I promise you. Oh, look at that. That's yeah, some beautiful stuff. Mm -mm. And the best garnish for a soup. Steam. Unless you're doing the cold soup. You don't want, you don't want the cold soup to have steam. That usually means you did something wrong. <laughs> All right. It usually means you did something wrong. All right. We have a wonderful, wonderful assortment of soups. But we're at that time where we got to find somebody. Ranger Jones, we'll have him. And since he took the time to really help us put this cucumber soup together, I believe you should never trust a cook who won't eat their own food. Definitely. Is that is that right? That's right. So let's get busy. In fact, you know what? I am going to make do the honors. Oh, yeah. There we go. Monsieur? Oh, thank you, Grill Sergeant. good is it really is? It, it, yeah it is good he stated the obvious i love that i love the fact that he stated the obvious yes it is good yes it is wonderful but you know the one thing it's not complete unless you're eating with somebody that you care about we want you to share your love share your food share your time this has been sergeant first class turner with the grill sergeants we'll see you next time